everybody, welcome aboard. Today's flight to Southwest Airlines, flight flight number 1344, with non-stop service from Honolulu to Hilo International in Hawaii. Our flight begins at the main terminal, gate A15, and we have been instructed to taxi to gate 8 right, as you can see on the chart. Hey everybody, Captain Mike here. Welcome to my flight deck. I haven't been in here in about six weeks. Day-to-day um, -day life stuff getting in the way. Um, and happy wife, happy life. So um, I was working on a project with her and it took about six weeks. So I'm finally back in the deck and we find ourselves in Hawaii. Um, I had quite a bit of updating to do. I had to update the Zebo mod, FDS to XP, ZHSI. I had to update some Lewis scripts because changes were made. Thanks, Pat. And Mr. D, you are the man. Um, so I haven't been in here in six weeks, so I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty. Um, so I'm going to be breaking out my flow checklist. I created this some time ago for individuals that don't know anything about the 737. And this is usually what I use with them. There's a link for this below if you want to follow along. So I'm going to run through this and get us up and running. Uh, the aircraft's cold and dark right now, so we're going to be running through the originator flight on down. So if you want to follow along, be my guest. Alright, dispatch load sheet acquired. I have my dispatch load sheet right here. I use Navigraph put this together so I've got all my data right here right in front of me so that's good so we're going to take out DC bolt meter selected to bat DC bolt meter selected to bat DC battery switch on guarded DC battery switch on guarded standby power switch auto guarded standby power switch is auto guarded alternate flaps off guarded alternate flaps is off guarded Fuel pump switches are off. Fuel pump switches are off. Wipers are set to park left and right. Hydraulic pumps electric one and two are off. Landing gear lever is down. We've got three green and we've got three green indicators. Weather radar to test. Fire warning system test. So we're going to clear the master caution. And we're going to conduct a fault in our test. And overheat fire. Okay. That is good. Ground power or APU connect. We're going to go on ground power. Let's make sure we're good. The doors are open. We've got juice. And this flight has been started. Okay, so let's go on ground power. And we're going to come up to the AC voltmeter selector and we're going to select ground power and confirm that we are in fact getting ground power. Bleed air set as shown below if you're following along. Um, we're not using the APU bleed air, we're using unconditioned air. So we want the packs in auto. Our isolation valve is open and the APU is off. So we're going to come back to the electrical panel and we're going to turn our galley power on. IRS mode switches align and nav. We're going to come to align. You can see we get the on DC power and the extinguished and we're going to come on over to nav. And we're set for align. Emergency exit lights on. Air conditioning panel as required. Now we don't have air conditioning, um, but we don't actually have a full uh, aircraft. So naturally, what we would do is we would control the air conditioning from there. How see do you enter present position? So we are at Honolulu. 
so we're going to put in pH and L. And as you can see, well, you can't see, I don't have that, that up. The CDU it is showing the coordinates for pH and L. We're going to come on over to page 2 and grab from our GPS the coordinates and then set the IRS position. And they are pretty close, so we don't have any problem with uh, our map data. Our flaps, we're going to confirm the flaps are up, the flaps are up, and the flaps are up. Parking brake, we're going to set our parking brake. Parking brake is set, and exterior lights set as needed, and we're going to put our position lights on steady. And that basically takes care of the originator flight. For those of you that may be following along, we're going to continue on with our pre-flight. So our leading edge devices we're going to test. Okay, service interphone switch is off. Our reverse enunciators are extinguished. Our EEC switches are on guarded. Our crew oxygen is just about 13,000. Passenger oxygen is normal guarded. Flight data recorder test. Good. And box speed. Stall warning one and stall warning two. Landing gear position enunciators. We are showing three green and our PSCU is extinguished. Crew oxygen check flow. We're gonna check our flow here on the oxygen for the mask. And that is good. And lights test, okay. Let's light them up. Let's check our lights. Make sure we don't have any burnt out bulbs. We won't know we've got an issue if we got a burnt out bulb, right? Okay, tree looks good. Okay, now we're going to start with the forward overhead. Our flight controls A and B are on guard, although the flaps are off. Spoilers A and B are on guard, and your damper is coming on. And our navigation, BHF is normal, IRS is normal, FMC is set for normal. Our display so source is set to auto, and our control panel is set to normal. Valve control for our cross feed. Good. The fuel pump switches are off. And electrical panel is good. Equipment cooling is set to normal. Emergency exit lights are on. Passenger signs, seatbelt signs are coming on. The seatbelt sign is on. Window heat Please power test. And fasten your seatbelt. Power test. And what do I? Mr. Chairman, we cannot leave the gate until we'll turn out of the properly to the way. All overhead bins are closed and all passengers okay, are seated. Now, this ETAT test repress this. This temperature probe indicator light should extinguish, but I do not believe SIBO has it modeled. Okay, anti ice. Alright, wing engine anti ice, we don't need it, they're off. Hydraulic pump switches, electric one and two are off. And we're going to test our voice data recorder. And we're going to take a look at our cabin pressurization panel. We want to check and make sure we're not getting any crazy numbers here. Being that we're at the gate with the door open. Air conditioning panel set as needed. And like I said, we don't have a back. So the AC is good. Bleed air panel we're going to test and set. Let's clear the master caution. Body overheat. And we get the air conditioning on the panel. Auto, 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 open, on, on, off. Bleed panel is good. Pressurization panel. We've got flight level 270 today. HNL in case we have to come back. Exterior lights as required. We are good here with the lights. Ignition select the first flight of the day. We're going to use the right.
Okay, now we're going to obtain ATIS clearance and then program the flight management computer. So, let's break this down. I'm going to need my charts here. Seven nine Honolulu INTL information echo twenty one hundred Zulu weather wind light and variable <coughs> visibility ten sky conditions two thousand five hundred few temperature two three two point one seven altimeter three zero zero three arriving runway two six left departing runways two six right two six left advise on initial contact you have echo. So the winds changed. That is not what we have in real weather. Real weather is showing runway eight. So we're going to be using runway eight like we use in the real world today. Information echo. All right, we don't need that anymore. Let's see if we can get clearance. So let's go to ground. Let's just say we got clearance and let's go on and program the flight management computer. Okay, route PHNL and we're going to PHTO. And we're going to grab the company route. We saved this already. said this Good. Let's get our weight. 
CFW is 128.8. Reserve. It's our final reserve. 2.3. Index is 30. We're at 270. And I'll plan fuel. Got to get reading glasses. Sorry about this. Would have been nice if I had these screens up, but I lost one of my computers. 079, so you can see what I'm doing. 16. I'm just putting in uh, the descent profile. 0428. Six and seven. I'm just putting in descent forecast. And let's take a look at the legs around data. And I want cruise. Let's see what's our average winds. Zero eight five and thirteen. That should be good. Let's take a look at our route here. Okay, 20. All this is direct. Paris, Ito. Pretty good here. Yeah. Okay. Alright, CDU is done. VHF and nav radio. So, let's come back to my charts here. They said 8 left. 
was landing back here, right? So, we'll put in 111.7 and 079 in case we have to come back if we've got an issue. Okay, well, we don't have ground and we don't have tower, but those frequencies are in. So VHF and that radios are done. EFIS panel high. I want terrain position data. Airport station. I'm gonna be on the master. You're gonna be on the slave. You're gonna have weather station, airport data, and position. Alright, we got VNAV, We're going straight on up to 27. This panel is good, mode control panel is good, the clock is set, nose wheel steering is set to normal, main panel to use. Let's make sure we can switch these around in case we lose one of these monitors for some reason. I feel my voice going already. Auto flight enunciate is one and two. They are good. Primary flight display, okay, artificial horizon, this level, all right, 45 on the speed tape is correct, V1 speed is ended at 136, initial climb, well we're going straight on up to 270, so that's entered, okay, heading indicator, that's all set, and terrain is set. Standby gauges. Soon I'll have the actual standby gauges in here. Right now they're just monitors. I have them, I just have to get them installed. Our end one is set to auto. Speed reference is set to auto. Fuel flow reset. And let's go to reject and take off. Okay, we've got sufficient fuel, oil, and hydraulics for this flight. And speed brake is up, down. Down, down, parking brake is set, cut off, step, trim, and let's get this running amok. Okay, let's put that back. Okay, that's good. Make sure we get our config warnings. Okay, let's check our bottles. And okay. Cargo fire detection system has been tested. HGS, we don't have a HUD, so we don't have to worry about that. Transponder is set to TA. Squawk is set. We are set for standby, and let's run our test. Adjust vertical speed. Adjust. Climb. Climb Rudder now. aileron trim. Climb, climb now. Climb crossing. Climb. Climb crossing. Climb. And climb. let's reset to climb. that. Clear of conflict. Descend. 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 Crossing. Descend. Descend. Crossing. Descend. Stable Descend. ride Descend. is set Descend to normal. Descend now. Descend. Descend now. Increase climb. Increase climb. Increase descent. Increase descent. Maintain vertical speed. Maintain. Maintain vertical speed. Crossing. Maintain. Monitor vertical speed. TCAS test. Pass. Let's do ground proximity. Let's do a long one since we've been out of here for six weeks. Light is low. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Get up. Think rate. Think rate. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flat. Too low. Terrain. So at this point, we've got our zero fuel weight is set. We've got our N1s, our reduce, our max. We've got our V-speeds. Our stabilizer trim is set. And how about we get... We have no fuel in the center tank, so let's get the pumps on. Let's get the APU going. 300. 200. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Wind shear, 
Wind shear. Wind shear. Too low. Terrain. So far I haven't noticed any issues with Zebo with all the updates that I've done. Everything seems to be pretty good. Alright, the window heat test is done, so let's recycle these bad boys. Okay, that test is complete. And we're waiting on our APU. Okay. And we're going to confirm we're on APU power. And now we're going to wait a minute before we go on APU bleed air. And set for gate departure. We're basically up for the back end of this. So, let's get our doors closed. Ground services. Um, doors. How about we get these doors buttoned up? We'll give them the welcome message. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, front flight deck, we'd like to add a welcome board. This may possibly a slight bumps or and let's call some for pushback. Top of so we can climb out as a precaution, keep our flight attendants uh, seated for a few minutes. Make sure we know, uh, you know, what that ride is going to be like uh, before uh, they get up. Also, appreciate it if everyone would uh, remain in our seats uh, during that time. Thanks for being with us today. Now I've got real world, uh, real world weather, FS Global real world in here for the weather, and I'm not sure why it gave us 26. I checked with the uh, um, flight 24 to see what they were using, and they're using runway uh, eight right. So that's what we're going to use today. What they're using in the real world, and we're just waiting for uh, push. All right, looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. Go ahead and hit that parking brake when you're ready. Here's that parking brake issue again. Let's see. I thought I set everything up in here. The screen looks a little messed up here. Good, my bagging out skills are going to be here. All right, so pushback time noted, right? That would be the next thing we would do. Bleed air, check, set, we want to make sure we got enough bleed air. So we're on APU bleed air. Let's make sure we're disconnected from the gate as well. And we are. Okay, and that's going to be on auto. And we're good to start. So our packs are coming off. Any collision light is coming on. And we're going to start number two. Ladies and gentlemen, the boarding door is now closed. Flight attendants, prepare doors for departure. Cross check, verify staff, stand by for all call. Just waiting for Max motoring.
Dot number one. So far, zebo has been right on the money. Only issue was with the uh, pushback, and I get that every now and then with the park and brake. Sometimes it works with real, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it works with simple, but I have it on simple now, and uh, they don't want to push us back. And Max motoring. So we're going to see if we can push back on our own. May not be too pretty, but we'll get it done. Okay. Uh, but we do it to be four taxi since we're sitting here anyway. Fuel cutoff levers, idle detent, engine generators, one and two on. AC voltmeter selected, Gen 2 or Gen 1. Make sure we're getting some juice. Probe heat switches are coming on. Engine wing and the ice as needed. Hydraulics on. Uh, bleed panel check set. Auto, auto, on, uh, on, auto. You're coming off. Exterior lights as needed. Well, we'll put the taxi light on after we get away from the gate. APU as needed. We don't need it. Master caution. Recall. Flap set for takeoff. Well, we'll do that after we back up. Transponder T A and auto. Weather radar to auto. Flight controls free and clear. We'll check that once we back up. Um, let's see how this is gonna go. Let them know. Okay. Let's get on out of here. This is up. I've been having a little bit of problem with that break. Right break. Acting up. Deck's gonna need a little bit of maintenance. But right now I want to get some flying in. I've been in here in six weeks.
got some audio coming through here. So far, so good. I mean, I'm not sure what's going on with the audio. It usually works pretty good, but I haven't been out in Honolulu in quite some time. It looks like uh, X-Plane 12 is right around the corner watching a video. A little bit of stutter going on there. I was watching a video the other day and uh, I don't know if it was a bit of a giveaway but uh, Austin said something about getting in touch with me in three months and uh, after he has the final product in his hand. So that would indicate to me a July release maybe. We'll see. Okay we're making a right here. Oh yeah, my voice is going already. photographs that I've seen in some of the videos, X-Plane 12 looks like it sleeps and bounds above 11. Um, I can't wait to see that weather. That weather program is something I want to see. I don't know if there's going to be much to see once we get in the air. Looking out there, you can't even see any of the mountains. Okay, we've got this to Juliet, and we're making a left.
feels good to be back in this seat again. And I get to see what type of improvements Zebos made between 352 and 3533. So far, she's been flawless. Hoping I can get that computer replaced relatively soon, so this way I can get those displays back up for you. stuttering going on there. Ain't nothing out there though. Don't know what that's all about other than maybe the weather. You still look pretty good though. Stop, eat right. Still stuttering. Must be all those buildings. I just have a glimpse of a few of them out there. That's what it must be. Probably one of the longer taxis I've ever had to do. <laughs> Although Dallas is uh, pretty big. I've been there a few times and it's been a couple of long taxis as well. Okay, eat right. Let's get on out of here. Okay, the cabin is secured. Have a good flight. <coughs> I guess I really should do that. Well, how about we take a look at that before we go? Flight attendants notified exterior lights as needed. They're set. Engine start selectors to continuous. They are. Auto throttle is armed. Transponder TARA and auto. Parking brake is released and throttles advance 40%. Auto engage. Positive rate gear up and retract flaps on schedule. We're good. Make sure that's up. Approaching. Zero. Eight. Right. The Zebo mod has been absolutely superb so far. So let's see how the departure is going to be. Funny, now I don't see no starters, and we're actually facing way. the city. Zero, Go figure. Eight, right. Okay, on a Lulu, we catch you on the flip side.
exhaust is set. Airspeed is active. Eighty knots. Check throttle. E1, rotate. Oh, beautiful Z boat act. Positive. Yeah. Break. Gear up. Four hundred. One thousand. Let's see what you got. Nice takeover. Very nice, Ebo. Very nice. Uh, 40 miles to top of climb, 213 to uh, high low. 250 knot climb, perfect Zebo, perfect. Yeah, look at all these clouds. It's got to be the reason for some of those studies. Hammer in the clouds, uh, hammer in the uh, GPU. The CPU, whatever is being used with X Plane 11. <laughs> Bring on 12. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm hoping July is the mark. I hope he gave it away. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at all those clouds. Get ready for 10,000 feet, shall we? Autopilot is engaged. Flight at uh, attendant notification is complete. Pressurization engine bleeds on. Pack switches are set to auto. APU is off. Exterior lights as needed. We are at 10,000 feet. Engine slot select switches are off. Auto brake selector is off. And the landing gear is up and off. Next up, 18,000 feet for standard pressure. So far, so good. Very nice. Got to figure out what's going on with my, uh, was it XATC? But if that's your only problem, that's not bad, considering all the updates that I've done. That's one thing I did update. Yes. 
set and we are set. After being out of the flight deck for six weeks, it's a joy to come in here and have it this smooth. No real major issues. Pushback wasn't that big of a deal. Would be nice though to have my radios though. Let's see if we can get something to See what we have on the back end. Maybe we can get something here. Foxtrot 2100 Zulu weather wind 020 at 10 right, visibility 10 sky conditions 4000 view 34000 scattered temperature 25 dew point 18 altimeter 3003 arriving runway 02 departing runway 02 advise on initial contact you have Foxtrot. Kahului Information Box Drive. 2100 Zulu now? weather. You're picking up two. You shouldn't be picking up two. You should be picking up my radio. That's interesting. These buttons are set the same as they were before. Okay, well, that's fixed. Uh, let's close you. What do we got? 12 miles of top of climb, 166 into a uh, high low. Directly to Jay, I thought it 
73, heavy out of 1700 for 4000, right turn to 360. ETS 27, 73, heavy, Houston, departure radar contact, higher in 5 miles. Run to that, UPS 27, 73. Thousand to go. Okay. One kilo Bravo with one thousand four hundred climbing three thousand hitting three one zero. One kilo Bravo, I definitely one zero thousand direct to Alexandria. And all ends up under three zero zero zero. Red contact three northwest to Hammond. Okay, one Pay attention, Johnny. So we're at cruise, we'll give him a level off message, and kill these sounds, let him run around a bit, but about 65 miles will be on uh, descent, so we're not going to be up here that long. We do, uh, thanks for flying with us on the bed. Departure to Morning, Jazz 139, is 50 off runway 20, climbing through 4,000 feet for 6,000. Jazz 139, have departure, good day, identified, Fidrick Anton, climb 14,000. Fidrick Anton, climb 14,000, Jazz 139. Alright, what do we have? Transition after those done, and monitor, right? Basically, we're monitoring the systems until we start our descent. Terminal, Moose 7 one and Moose uh, 5,000 for Pleasant Houston. Moose 7 one uh, departure. Top of descent and 61 miles, 60, 60 miles. Smooth ride from Zebo so far. Nothing to complain about. Move seven one contact center now one three two seven seven. Center one three two seven seven. Move seven one. Arthur, a good day. Air Canada two three nine four thousand for six thousand. Mark twenty eight camp over for. Canada 239, departure, good day, identified. Clear direct path, 0 5 level 210. Well, 210, direct path, 4 Canada 39. And sorry, Gander, what number were you? Gander, what number that would be a treat. 
departure is Airco 147 through 3200 for 6000. Airco 147, that's our trigger day identified. Come on, flight level So right one now we're over Maui. And uh, turn right direct to Pelva. Right direct to Pelva, flight level 180, Airco 147. Contact center now, one two six five seven. See ya. 
So we're about 90 miles out now, five miles to top of descent. And we're inbound bonus. Long pick the airway 21. Jazz 994. Jazz 994, contact center now. 351323. Here we go. 3235, yeah, Jazz 994. Windows 6190, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, Set land altitude is set. Passenger signs are on. And okay. There's a 431 turn right, Bob Key on course. I turned Bob Key on course here, Canada 431. Canada 431, come back center down, went to 877. Get it? Very nice, Ebo, very nice. We requested a little bit of drag, but I don't think we need it. Right now we're looking pretty decent. She's easing up. Morning, Star Sensor 54, contact center 12877. Good night. So far, Zebo's been okay, real nice. One for three heavy, one for three thousand. You get it now? Hilo INTL information Foxtrot. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind light and variable. Visibility 10. Sky conditions 2300 few. 4300 scattered. 6300 broken. Temperature 22. Dew point 20. Altimeter 3003. Arriving runway 26. Departing runway 26. Advise on initial contact you have Foxtrot. We've got Foxtrot. The next one, 53, contact center now. Frequency 12877. Good night. 2877, FedEx 15, good night. Band up 252, turn at 110 and one able doing to arriving. Direct arriving, you're going to land at 252. So we've got 55 miles to go. Got a false weight there, I think, 110. Sorry, 110 there in Canada, quick day. Zebo has performed absolutely beautifully. ZHSI has been following along real nice. FDS to XP has been on the money. No complaints really. Only issue that I had. Okay, let's go to local pressure and let's set up. Only issue I had was with pushback. Okay, bleed panel auto pressurization panel is set and passenger sign set, auto brake selector is set, flight instruments and radios are set. 
Uh, I gotta set the radios. Uh, recall. Roger, 1730, 2200, five thousand. And minimums we've got. Beautiful ride, Zebo. Beautiful ride. From RJ15, turn right direct speed dog, of course. Right here, direct speed dog, of course. From RJ15. Uh, Route 1654 is on the 15,000. 15,000, Route 1654. Order 219, uh, 216, 3000. Order 
Air Canada 406, 2200 for 5000. Air Canada 406, departure, identify times 7000. 57,000, Air Canada 406. Departure Air Canada 015, this is you off runway 5 out of 2003. That's MI for Air Canada 406, turn right here, Calvin Sun, on course. I'll cut on course, Air Canada 406. Air Canada 015, heavy departure, radar down to 557,000. 7,000, Air Canada 015. Air Canada 406, high flight level 230. High flight level 230, Air Canada 406. the right frequency. That is correct. Plus 3130, can't take you charge the rear moisture take off for the way to the left. Okay, that's off now. Bad radio, not the mark. Okay, you schmuck. Two departure leader, identify, five, maintain, one, six, thousand. Maintain, one, six, thousand. Couple, six, zero, seven, two. Ready. Hey, Boucher, good morning. Hey, Canada, five, seven, four, in the turn on the, uh, Fraser 6. Blue, 1600, plus 7,000. Back over departure leader, identify, five, maintain, one, six, thousand. Maintain, one, six, thousand. Maintain, one, six, thousand. I can't identify, seven, four. Better. Departure, 4318, lithium, climb 2,200, 7,000. Off 4, 3, 2, 1, 8, departure, air down. Can't be quiet, yep, I'm on it. 5, 18, 1, 6,000, we're hitting 2 zero zero, Canada 5 7 4. 1000 to go. Canada 5 7 4, Charlie, 2 3 0. Right heading 2 3 0, Canada 5 7 4. The clouds look pretty nice. So we're going to bang a U-turn and four, come on three, in three, and one, pick up uh, one. Waking. This is nice, right here. Peeking in and out. 1200 for 7,000. to go.
Westjet 454, turn left heading 010, climb and get one. Okay, heading 010 up to 16000, Westjet 454. Westjet 454, contact the center, 134, that's 146. 34 4 Westjet 454, good morning. Yeah. 1,000 to go. Departure, good morning, Air 10, uh, 1-8. 16 and a half miles out. Departure radar identified, climb, maintain 1-6,000. Climb, maintain 1-6,000, Air 10, 180. Thousand to go. Air Canada 188, contact center 135, that's 132. 135, Air Canada 180. She's a little so sluggish sure picking up uh, on the speed, though. 133, that's 185. 133, get the light pause, Westjet 55, uh, inventory 1.2 for two. Yeah, 55, five, five, radar down five. Thousand to go. Climbing in 4,000, Jet 55. Jet 55, contact the terminal now, 125, 105. 25, 25, Jet 55, good day. Retro low jazz 257, we can get a one climbing 2000 on the sample one. Sure, it's a climbing 4000. Climbing 4000, jazz 257. Jazz 201 out of 1800 for 7000. Jazz 201, departure identified, climb 9000. 9000, jazz 201. Roger. Remember, Alpha Julia identified at 1,000 status. The 32 then shot at 1,400. How about you? And 10 the flaps. Good morning, Hanan 7, 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 Hanan Level 2300, Hainan 7976. And then 7976, turn right, heading 360. Turn right, heading 360, Hainan 7976. And then 7976, proceed direct to Tony on course. Proceed direct to Tony on course, Hainan 7976. We've got the runway. Marjorie, good evening, Air Canada, 1876 left, 2,000, put her climbing 5,000. 2,000 to go. Left, 1876, Air Twenty-five hundred. 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 Twenty-five
good enough. Okay, good. So you're all looking good. Beautiful. The auto flight system, beautiful. Canada, one five five on zero six left, two thousand two hundred five five. Canada, one five five, first identified, five five zero three zero. Flight level two three zero, Canada, one five five. One thousand. My bird. I would say I would transition to that tailwind uh the pirate under again, one five five. Get a one five five, thank you. Question four, two, three, contact center one. Approaching two, two six. Wow, she really uh, feels five, good, five, man. Five, three five three. Wow, she feels nice. Feels like a heavy bird. Beautiful job, Zebo. Five hundred. Real nice. Oh, I can't wait to get this in twelve. Ooh, we man. Absolutely beautiful. Look, they gave us 26, we got the tailwind. Approaching decision height. 200. Land in a moment. Turn right, direct to vertical. 100. Climb level 230, right turn direct vertical. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, Approaching two one. Descent three four zero west hit five four seven. Center breaker six one four four level three seven zero. Breaker six one four four. Good morning. Three seven zero. Turn on today west three four four five level nine three four two three zero. Westchester 324, good morning, Clemson 350. Clemson 350, Westchester 350. Beautiful 
ride, Zebo. Beautiful ride. Watch that 547. Descent 240. Descent 240. Let's get 547. I'm hoping I can get another flight in today. Get the flight going back, but. My throat is shot already, and I can feel my back. We'll see. Maybe we get lucky. Get another one in there. What's that? 547 1977. Airport. Canada 441 119. Little bit of flicker going on. 400 climb by level 330. Climb by level 330 and uh, 400. You should be off, Johnny. You're slipping. Watch that 324 climb by level 410. Climb by level 410. Watch that 324 go direct to the lab. Watch that 324. Good morning, Jazz 16 through 17 7 for flight level 230. Jazz 16, morning, climb flight level 360. Flight level 360 for Jazz 16. Hey, almost started there. Oh no, this was a delightful flight. Trying to get a Rouge 7109 over checking in at flight level 280. Rouge 1709, good morning, 280. Good day, Maple 7625, flight level 360. Maple 7625, good morning, 360. Alright, and ground. Good morning, 15579, level 340. Give me that, set the chocks, take the brakes off. Center Canada, power. Uh, what's that, uh, level 360? Yeah, 401. Ground power and ground air is available. I do believe that's a wrap. Your damper, window heat switches as needed, they're off. Probe heat, engine heat is off. Engine start select is as needed, they're off. Auto brake selector is off. Speed brake is down, flaps are up, transponder, TA auto. Weather radar to test, parking brake is on, transponder to standby. Let's go power ground, ground is set, bleed is set, fuel cutoff levers to cut off, anti-collision light is off, passenger signs are off, fuel pump switches off, a little rusty there, electrical panel check set, galley power on off, And window heats off, our drops are off, uh, it's needed, we don't need any of those, let's see, that's the only one it should be on, flight director switches are off, chocks are in position and the brakes are off. So let's secure the aircraft completely, IRS select the switches to off, emergency exit lights are off, exterior lights are off. Bleed panel is set. That is set. Engine start selected to both. APU or ground power disconnect. DC and AC select is to stand by. And battery switch is off. Well, 
That's a wrap. I hope you had as much fun as I did. It's been six weeks, a little rusty there, but uh, all in all, Zebo performed beautifully. FDS was great, as well as ZHSI, man. I'll catch you on the next run.